Welcome back, everyone, to the always interesting world of Emacs. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about copying and pasting the Emacs way, which is, of course, different than the normal way that, that most people are used to using computers today. But that makes sense because Emacs is very old and it has its own special idiosyncratic way of doing things. So we're going to be talking about basically cutting text from one area and moving it to another, uh, your basic uh, copy paste, as we sometimes call it today. And uh, sometimes people say cut and paste because it kind of does the same thing. In the Emacs sense, cutting is a little more accurate, but they actually call it killing. The idea that you're you're killing a piece of text and you're moving it somewhere else. And um, so why why not copying? Well, uh, I'm not sure exactly you know why because there is a bit of a copy function. I'm not sure uh, how it got the name, but uh, basically the idea is um, you can you can delete a piece of text and when you actually delete it, now you can you can paste it somewhere else. But the word that Emacs uses is yanking. So you're you're cutting a piece of text in one place and you're yanking it to another place. Um, and uh, there's a few interesting features here that are worthy of note. Uh, but first, uh, we'll, you have to understand uh, the next concept, which is the kill ring. So basically, um, maybe you've been in a situation where you've copied something and you've you're let's say you're doing data entry or spreadsheets or something and you're having to copy and paste a lot of things and you think well, wouldn't it be convenient if i could go back and copy the thing i copied five or six pastes ago instead of having to go back and find it again just so i can copy it um, and there's certain programs that you can install that will uh, save your clipboard so you can go back to things you previously copied uh, emacs has that kind of feature built in that's kind of what the kill ring is so the idea is that this is a variable and it is um, that variable is uh, going to be filled by things that you've cut or killed from your document. And um, I'll just go ahead and read here what the documentation says. So uh, this is uh, regarding the kill ring. So it says the maximum number of entries in the kill ring is controlled by the variable kill ring max. The default value is 60. So basically that's um, 60 previous kills or cuts, 60 different pieces of content that you've cut from other places that will fill up this variable. And of course, uh, once the limit has been reached, it'll make room by deleting the, the oldest entry basically. So that's 60 items, that's pretty good. Uh, the actual contents of the kill ring are stored in a variable named kill ring. And you can view the entire contents with, uh, you know, basically control HV, you can uh, take a look at this variable and you'll see exactly what's inside that using control HV. So I think we've talked about that a few times, how to use that function. Um, so basically that's, that's how the kill ring works. And we're going to see how to use this in practice in just a few moments. So, so stick around, it'll be worth it. And um, so the one part where this can be annoying if you're, if you're new to Emacs is how easy it can be to lose your text. So in, in the normal world, if you're, you know, you're writing in a Word document or you're, you're in another text editor, uh, and let's say you need to grab a URL from, a, um, from your, your web browser or even a piece of text from another document, and uh, you come into Emacs and then you just think, well, you know, that's that thing you needed to paste is saved in your clipboard, right? So you might delete a piece of text here. You might not realize that you're you're making you're making more kills. You're filling up your kill ring, and you, when you go back to actually paste something, you've lost the thing that you were actually trying to copy. So then you have to go back and grab it again. Uh, not really a big deal, but it's. Um, if, if you know how the kill ring works, you don't have to worry about going back and grabbing what you intended to uh, to actually yank and paste in place. It's, it's You can basically get back into the kill ring and grab it, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so yeah, there's, a, there's basically a function called the uh, alternate yank. So let's actually just demonstrate it because that might be easiest. So here, in practice, let's, let's actually do it. So, so let's say, uh, I want to kill and move this sentence here. 
So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll kill that whole line. And now I know, okay, so that's now in the kill ring. And um, let's say I want to put it above this sentence, but you know, before I do that, I, um, I want to change this word good to great. So I'm going to kill that word. I'm going to type in great. So that's great. And then I think, okay, now that other sentence that I, I killed or copied, I want to put that up here. So I go to, to yank it with, um, oops, sorry, wrong button there. I was clicking the wrong thing. Uh, sometimes when you're, when you use Emacs every day and you try to do things slowly, you forget what keys you're pressing. So I go to uh, yank it right there. Whoops, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so um, as you've noticed, so now the, the thing that I've just yanked in place there is the word good. It, it's not the, well, now good, good. So now I'm, I'm making all kinds of mess. So basically the sentence that I wanted to put here was not the most recent thing in the kill ring. It was what I killed last. Um, so yeah, so that sounds very confusing and annoying, uh, but basically there's a function to get back to what I have killed. And so instead of just yanking, you do the alternate yank. These are by default in Emacs bound to control Y, that's a yank or basically a paste, and then alt or meta Y, which would be the, um, the alternate yank. So if I hit the alternate, let's see what it does. It'll probably, well, it'll tell me that the last thing I did was, was not a yank. So let's, let's, um, let's do a yank again, and then alt Y, it'll keep going back through the kill ring back to what I wanted. So you see, that wasn't a, um, a perfect demonstration because uh, the alternate yank doesn't work if um, if the previous command you did wasn't a yank, as it said. Uh, but there, to make it easier, there is a package that lets you browse the kill ring more easily without having to go and inspect the variable and, and grab the, the piece of text that you want, which, um, which, as you can see, I'll show you here really quick. If we inspect kill ring and go into it, You'll see here's the here's the stuff that we recently killed. It's not very uh, very convenient because you see it's full of quotes and uh, and other stuff in here. So that's not as helpful. Uh, so I'll actually I'm actually going to install the browse kill ring package because uh, on this workstation I haven't installed it yet. So let's actually uh, go ahead and do that, uh, and we can see how that's done as well. First, I'm going to uh, refresh the contents, um, my, my local uh, cache here, I guess. And um, the browse kill ring function or a package is in the, uh, the Melpa package manager. So you just have to make sure you have that one uh, connected. And the package we're looking for is browse kill ring right there. All right, cool. So that's done. Uh, so now let's actually see how this works. So let's say now I want to uh, move this sentence back. Uh, you know, so there's many different ways of doing this. So I'm, I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to do the kill sentence uh, function on it. Uh, that would probably be easiest. And um, let's say I want to move it down here now. So um, now let's actually see, it's still in my kill ring, of course, but um, so let's actually put, you know, Let's put some other stuff in there. So I just put those two other words that I just killed into the kill ring. So if I yank something, yeah, it grabs the last two words that I deleted. Um, so I could do alternate yank, or um, you know we can just uh, forget about this, delete it, and I believe the function is browse kill ring. And now you can actually uh, sort through this here, and you can see it's basically doing some nice alternate yanks up in the document. Uh, but that's the sentence I want, and I can just hit enter, and it's in the document. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is something that um, that's good to know because, as I said, you're you may have different cases in which you you need to copy a URL from somewhere else. Uh, like so for example, like I'm going to copy. I'm in my browser here. I'm I copy. I want this uh, this YouTube URL. You know, so let's say I, I just copy that and I'm, I'm editing my, my sentence here. This is a good sentence. What usually happens actually to me is I'll have a URL and I want to, to paste it into org mode. So I'll go and I will, I'll highlight this sentence. I'll do control C, uh, control L, 
and uh, you know put in kind of think, thinking I'm pasting in a URL because that's what I copied last. But actually, no, I, I actually killed a uh, killed a few words, and it's not actually my URL. So let's actually see if I can do an alternate yank in the mini buffer here. Yeah, you can. Okay, so that's pretty cool as well. So it's good to know the the alternate yank there. Um, but and again, why why would why would that also be an issue? Uh, because let me just give you another use case here. So let's say I copied a, a, a URL from, uh, you know, from YouTube here. And so I go ahead and copy it. And I think, okay, that's, that's in my kill ring now. I'm going to paste that into a document. Um, but usually what happens, what if I'm in the wrong org mode document? So, so let's say, um, oh, this, and this is the wrong directory. So I, I delete that. And then, um, Let's say I decide, oh, no, that, that is the right directory. So you know, I, I put in the, the file I'm supposed to go to, uh, paste in my URL. Uh, so there, the, it's uh, it's not the URL because the last thing I killed was in the mini buffer when I deleted the the directory. So even if you're just putting in a directory, uh, anytime you you kill a, a piece of text, uh, even in, uh, in DRED or if you're just um, doing the find file, that's actually what's uh, what's going to take that place in your kill ring. So you've got to do your, you know, your alt a few times, or just use the you know the browse kill ring function as well. But yeah, so that's uh, that's about it. That's uh, cutting and pasting and uh, killing text the right way in in Emacs, at least as as far as I know. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, if anybody has any questions or comments or whatever, uh, be sure to let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. Let's see you all next time.